Hey everybody, what's up? It's Josh Mall, the voice, and it is damn cold out there. If you didn't close your pool for the winter and you don't have a heater, you're gonna wanna watch this video for tips to keep your pool safe from damage. Hey everybody, it's Josh Mall, the voice for Swimming Pool Science. And right now, gripping the south is the polar vortex, and it's gonna be cold. And a lot of you folks in the south are like us in Arizona where you guys don't close your pools. Um, you let them run throughout the winter, do a few things, keep an eye on them. But it's getting cold right now, and I'm seeing a lot of buzz on social media and uh, elsewhere, and questions being asked uh, over at the Swimming Pool Science uh, business line. What do I do with my pool? How do I keep it safe? How do I keep it from freezing? Um, so let's talk about that. We're gonna take a few minutes to hopefully help save you hundreds of dollars in repair costs um, and prevent your pool from freezing. Uh, I'm here at the Dolores River in Southwest Colorado where it is cold. It's about 10 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Uh, that's about minus 17 uh, Celsius. And uh, as you can see, I'm actually standing on the river, but right next to me, I've got liquid water flowing. Uh, and the reason is, is that liquid water, when it's flowing, can be chilled down to about 55 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. That's right around 45 C or so, uh, if I'm doing my calculations right in my head. Um, it will run well, as liquid, uh, frozen, or it will run as liquid uh, down to about 55 degrees uh, as long as it's moving. The minute it stops, uh, it will start to freeze. Now you saw me uh, scoop a cup of water out of there earlier. Uh, that was liquid and it's actually starting to freeze right now. You can see the ice crystals now that that water is still and I kind of did that to prove a point. Uh, so number one rule is we want to turn our pools on and keep them running. We want those pools running 24 hours a day, seven days a week until we get through this frost and those temperatures start to creep back, back up. Uh, number two, we can also add a little bit of food grade antifreeze to our water. Not a whole lot, but a little bit to help bring that freezing point down just a hair. Uh, if you have a salt pool and you're saying, hey, I, need, I don't need to worry about it, well, the salt content right around that th th three and 4,000 parts per million, that's not enough to really affect it. That only re uh, reduces your freezing point by about half a degree. So it's not gonna make much of a difference there. So even if you do have a salt chlorine generator pool, uh, you are gonna wanna take these measures. So uh, we need to get onto our automation, make sure our pool pump is running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, change those schedules, uh, change your time clock around. Uh, if you have a variable speed pump, a Pentair and Teleflow, uh, I believe the Hayward TriStar VSs and the, and the Jandy pumps, they have built-in freeze protection uh, to protect the components inside of them. It's not necessarily to protect your pool water from freezing, but it's to protect the components inside the pump itself. Um, but it's always good to maybe put, put in a schedule just to run 24 hours a day that'll override things and give you a little bit of backup. So number one, we want those pumps running 24 hours a day. Uh, number two, uh, you can add a little bit of food grade antifreeze to your water. Uh, number three, and this is uh, kind of a trick we use in Arizona uh, with our plants during during freeze warnings, is um, you can cover your pool equipment with a, with a drape of cloth over it uh, or a comforter or something like that. And then if you have an old school incandescent light bulb, a lot of us still have those around, and we can put a lamp uh, underneath that with that plumbing while the pool is running. That's gonna add a few degrees of warmth and temperature to make sure that your pool equipment doesn't freeze. Now, of course, we all know what ice does. It cracks things, it expands when it freezes. And what happens is, is uh, if we get frozen water in a section of pipe, that water inside there expands and it breaks that pipe. It'll do this with copper, it'll do it with PVC easily, um, uh, metal pipes, just about anything. Uh, so we wanna keep that water moving and keep it liquid. Worse yet, um, if this freeze continues for a while, that ground underneath is gonna get frozen where your pipes are, you could have an underground line burst, which can get really expensive. So we wanna keep that water moving. We wanna keep uh, keep things turning and churning. Uh, drape a, a comforter or a cloth over your equipment. Put an incandescent light over it or underneath it to uh, help bring a few degrees of warmth into that equipment area, but make sure it's running 24 hours a day, seven days a week until you get through with this frost. Now let's All right, I'm Josh Mall, the voice for Swimming Pool Science. I hope you found this video useful. I hope it will save you some money and potential repair costs. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Good luck, everybody.
Good boy, Jimmy. How's that snow? Jeez. He's going deep. Like he's swimming. Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. 